I always start my paintings with an undercoat, a primer, if you will, um, of the dark places in the painting. Not that you'll ever see what I'm doing now in the final painting, but it helps me put the paint where it needs to go, I guess. It's kind of like a rough sketch in paint, um, and I can judge the composition and see the size of things without being very committed to anything on it just yet. You know, it was funny watching this back. I actually wish I had gone a different direction at one point from my original idea, um, because watching it on video, I liked the way it developed in a couple of spaces long before I ever finished. So I'll have to do another one and stop and go back and uh, go the direction I may have gone had I watched this in process, maybe. Um, but this one, the, the inspiration for this was simple. You know, Greg loves Montana, loves everything cattle. Um, our ranch is very traditional in that sense. And the two paintings I did on the other side of the wall, um, not the wall, the room, rather, um, they are, I guess, a little more contemporary. So this one, my, my end idea was actually, I wanted it to have one of those old traditional cowboy looking paintings um, where they not necessarily very realistic but still in the same way or, or something that might have hung in an old western saloon back in the day um, it was my goal the end look I was going for <clears throat> um, I needed something large to balance out the two paintings on the other side of the room so this is an eight by eight it's huge it's it's wall size which is a lot more comfortable for me to paint actually because of my muraling background uh, but this painting took me i think if i go back and look at my changes of clothes it took me three days uh, i didn't work full three days i was always stopping and starting and stopping and starting mostly because my dogs they love to sit in and amongst me while i'm painting and then they start demanding things they bring me balls and you can't see it in the camera but they're always there under my feet um, especially buck who uh, the picture at the beginning of this video shows he was always right there and sadly buck didn't see this painting finished he uh, passed away the day before it was finished so uh, a, i didn't record a lot on the last day just just because of that um, but here you can see me, I'm starting to put in some more details now. What I do, um, after I get the base coats on, what I call them, the, just the colors in certain places, I start putting in a little, little more detail, a little pushing those shadows back, put, pulling the highlights out with a paint brush and blending them just a little bit to give me what I, for me, some structure, some, uh, places of that, that, that are there. Cause I tend to like to paint the final parts with a palette knife. And um, so this gives me some balance, some structure, it gives it the background, gives it depth when I put that palette paint on there. I've done it the other way without it and the, the painting doesn't look as um, deep, I guess that's the best way to say it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting in the, the shadows and the lights and wanted it to have that look of that it was on the plains of Montana, this, this cowboy's herding these cattle. Um, the story that's kind of going on here that I would never would have picked up on had I not been living on a ranch for a couple of years now is that the cowboy with his blue healer there he's telling her to heal or hold or wait with his hand out so he's actually speaking to the dog in this painting uh, the horse very always in tune with the rider has one ear cocked back on him and one ear on the herd which tells you they're kind of pay attention to both. It's a funny thing about horses is you can tell where their attention is based on their ears. The ears are the most expressive part of a horse's a whole being. Um, and, and I like that in this particular um, painting is that not very many people would pick up on that. Um, so he's telling his dog to not go after that cow and the cow is swishing its tail because he's a little irritated and maybe, maybe even being a little sassy about it. The cowboy's telling him to there that stay. The horse is listening, and uh, it looks like a pretty quiet day there on the on the ranch.
Now this is when I've started coming in with the palette knife and adding um, the, the ending details and colors and things. This was my last day of painting. I liked how it turned out. Best thing about painting for me is that in the end, when you look real close, it just looks like a mess. It, it, it's, it's almost like a magic trick for me. You take all these colors, all these shapes, all these layers, and, and close up, they look like nothing. They just, just looks haphazard, no plan. But as you start pulling away, everything starts coming into focus. And all of a sudden, what looks like chaos makes sense. Uh, actually, I, I believe that a lot of times that's how I look at God's plan for my life is that up close it looks a little chaotic, but there is a plan and a purpose, and someday somebody will be able to look back and go, oh, there was perfect order to that. <laughs>